had a single mom, I had a younger brother, and, uh, and I knew nobody was coming to save me. It was just me, it was like I had to figure this out. And so, you know, I would start stealing. I'd start breaking into houses. I started just being a, like a street kid, you know? I had no identity, it felt like. I was just seeing my world crumble, you know? It was like, there was no purpose. It felt really empty. I felt like I was just like a shell of a man. And I remember just feeling like, where's the joy? I got into the Navy. My mom started sending me these text messages from, you know, the Bible app. I was like, you know, maybe this is what I need. I need to like, do this church thing, do this Jesus thing. Whatever this thing is, it's making me feel like it's answering a lot of questions and it's making me feel like I'm becoming a better person. This guy Jesus knows how to make things kind of better. I was learning the Bible and I was reading. I said, oh, okay. This is real. I could see it all. I could see the whole love letter. It made all the sense in the world to me. After I got saved and I was reading the word a lot, you know, it was just like, it says out of the abundance of the heart comes forth the mouth, you know? And so I pick up the guitar and then I would just start singing to God, just kind of like I saw David do. And it just like ignited something in me. It just felt like if there's a reason to sing, then this is the reason. My main mission was like, I just wanted people to get encountered by the Holy Spirit. I wanted people to encounter God through worship and through music and for them to start having this conversation. And so creating this atmosphere with music um, really gave people the freedom to do that. You know, my why has always been to just love people the best that I can. I think it's, it's, a, it's a journey and a process of, of growing with the Lord and, and learning love and trust.